Welcome back to the top-down RPG template tutorial series. In our previous video, we learned how to create zones in our gameplay level. Today we'll be adding mini-maps to those zones. Let's get started. To begin, we need to create a new data table using the structure provided in the documentation. Then, we'll need to replace the existing data table in the corresponding composite data table with our new one. Be sure to check that the row name and ID match. We need to capture the map before we can fill the rest of the fields. To capture the map, we'll need to place the BP Minimap Capture Blueprint in the level. We can adjust the map size variable to make sure it covers the desired area. Then, provide a path and name for the minimap texture. If we want to exclude certain actors from appearing on the minimap, we can add them to the ignore list. Or use the button to automatically ignore all interactables. Once we're satisfied with the minimap, we can export it into the project. We can make further adjustments to the texture in the engine or export it to Photoshop to modify it there before importing it back. With the minimap texture ready, we can set it in the data table, along with the size and coordinates copied from the blueprint. We can now delete the blueprint in the level. Next, we'll need to copy the minimap ID and paste it into the zone data table. This same ID can be used for multiple zones. After testing, we should be able to see the minimap throughout the level. We can create separate minimaps for different zones, like a danger zone we have.
Let's test it again. This time we should notice the minimap changing when we enter the danger zone. Thanks for watching.